Hi everybody. All right, so I think first off we need to make sure all our parts are here. So this looks like this is all uh, like the board. So I think we'll put that aside for a moment and we'll do the gear box because I think it actually says says to assemble the gearbox first before we'll go ahead for this section. Awesome English. So, even though that's part one. Part one? Part one. So yeah, part one. So we're going to do the the gearbox first. This is the gearbox. And we're going to attach the wheels, so these ones. So we can pretty much stuff still. So uh, I'm going to stop it for a minute. I'm just going to go through and make sure that I've got all the bits and bobs that are on this sheet because that's pretty important. <clears throat> all right so it definitely looks like we have all the bits and bobs and I've laid them all out over here so I can see them all. I don't have like special trays or any whoop, shake the table there. any special trays or anything so I'm just I'm flying by the seat of my pants here, uh, but we do have everything, so that's good. Everything to build the the, um, the gearbox and stuff. So uh, I guess we'll start with the part one. So we're getting P1 and P9, and we're sticking them together. So that's the the motors and the pinion gear AT, which are these ones here. And we're just sticking them inside each other. Alright, fair enough. Easy enough to do, I suppose. Oh, so you'd think. I don't know how snug they need to be, but that's done. Uh, part two. Oh, I better take all this stuff apart. Because it looks like I'm going to... Hang on, I think I have a... Scalpel. Hang on a minute, I'm going to need to find a scalpel. Alright, so I couldn't find my scalpel. It might be uh, in a box somewhere or doing something, I don't know. But I'm just going to use a regular, uh, like a, just a kitchen knife to trim the filings off. Right. End up with these. When you do, when you take it off the mold, you end up with like bits of plastic where it joined up and it might not be, it might need a bit of cleaning, which is like, uh, put a fair few models together and I, I like, um, uh, Warhammer 40k and that sort of stuff. I collect miniatures and stuff for that, so, um, cleaning off this stuff is something that I don't know, it's quite fun I've done a lot of it <laughs> that's for sure so I'm actually going to I'm going to just use a knife for doing that and uh, when I've finished cleaning these all up um, I'll come back and we'll start some more alright, thanks bye alright, so I end up finding an old scalpel after all, so I just cleaned up all the flash off the sides of these and made them all be clean. And I moved on to step two, which was to uh, 
set this in the center F part F in the center of part G. So that's done now. As you can see, as you can see that's done now. Put that together and now we move on to the next part which seems to be attaching the attaching these. I'm going to need to vacuum after this. I've got little plastic filings all over the place. So this is uh, attaching the motor holders to here. So it looks like that. One's going one way, one's going the other way. Okay, so I'm going to put that together and then I'll um, I'll come back. All right. Alrighty. So that's done. Uh, that was kind of fiddly. Uh, definitely need a scalpel for those um, plastic tubing. Uh, yeah, well, at least it helped me. I couldn't get the scissors in there. Those screws are really tiny. I don't have the smallest hands, and that's. That was fiddly, <laughs> but it was good fun. Anyway, next bit. So we're up to part four. Part four, we're attaching the motors uh, through here. So. fine. Alright, pause it and I'll be right back. Alright, so they're in now. Got the two motors in there. Uh, I think I might have to push these on a little bit harder. The little plastic caps there, they might, they might be alright. Anyway, so that's all in now. It's the done so now we move over to the part five which is uh, these bits I have which ones do they want oh they want the ones with the holes in it okay and it looks like Ah, I see. So the holes go on the like this. So the holes are where the the motors come out. So I'll quickly screw those in, and I'll be right back. There they are. <coughs> All right. So that's uh, part five done. We screwed the the brackets with the holes in the sides there for the motors and we put uh, the I don't know what they call them part six part six uh, part six eyelet so I stuck the eyelets in there I didn't glue them so they will fall out but I'm just gonna not worry about that at the moment so we're moving on to part six now, which looks like putting the mo uh, the gears all together. So uh, I'll let you have a quick look at that so you can see. That's right there. So that's what I'm doing now, putting all the gears together, and um, so. I'm going to do that and then I'll come right back. Alright, so I thought I'd just show you what I've got so far. Um, it says on the uh, diagram to do all the gears first, but because there's no, there's no gluing, so I did the next part for one side, which is putting this part on so that all the gears stay in place. And so you've got the uh, the eyelet 
there, this part. So uh, this part goes into the eyelet on that side, and then the gears go around it, and then this part goes into the next uh, the next board that you the next bit of plastic that you stick on there. And you need to keep these got these little oops, got these little. Uh, uh, you can't really see them. Uh, never mind. Anyway, it's got little ears there, and you need to keep those horizontal with the main body. So that's that, and I'm just going to do the other side now, and I'll come right back. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> that's all done. So that's now. So both sides are all. set up there we go so that's the gears done uh, the next part is uh, so it looks like we're attaching it looks like we're attaching the frame using these looks like we're attaching a frame using uh, these bits here to the base so that it looks like where are they going? Uh, hmm, things like that, and then like that. But, hmm. These things have to face going inwards by the looks of it. Oh, oops, sorry. These little things here go face inwards. And I'm guessing we use more of the eyelets. Alright. So I'm going to put those together and then I'll be right back. Okay. So that's done now. We've got that. Those, um. So, uh. We've got those attached now. I haven't put the eyelet, uh, the eyelets into these holes yet. Um, I'll do that when I need to. Um, but yeah, so uh, the next part um, looks like we're taking the orange gears and sticking them in the holes making sure that the uh, this they're sticking them in the gears making sure that the little ears again are flush uh, horizontal um, and then we're attaching the last plastic bits so by the looks of it uh, so by the looks of it, this goes in here after I put the gear, the, the eyelid in of course and then this last bit here goes on there and then we attach it like that so like that so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back alrighty so that's all done that's that's all done there. So when, and that's pretty much geared up so that. So when the motors run, these spin, which makes this spin. But these are also attached, so they spin as well, and they're all at the same position as the little manual said. Okay. Um. So now that we've done that. We've got part 11.1 and part 11.2, and that just depends on whether you want the the legs. Here's the legs. So that's what they look like. I'm not going to use legs. I don't think they look very good. Supposedly that 
they got little suction they got little rubber pads on there so that would be kind of cool I suppose but I've seen it move on YouTube and it didn't look that crash hot to me so I'm actually gonna go with the wheels and that looks pretty simple enough we stick um, we stick the wheel on the little ears on on um, stick the wheel on the little ears here and then you tighten it with a screw so I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and then we'll have our completed uh, body alright alrighty so the uh, body's done there it is that's the uh, the final product there and he will drive along zoom Obviously, he's not going to be zooming anywhere just yet because he has no power. And but we can see the gears work by. So if I move the wheels there, the wheels turn, and they all turn in unison, which is very nice. And this side as well, probably. So there we go. You can see the the wheels turning there. There we go. Beautiful. So that's done. They all turned. It looks lovely. And now we can start. There we go. Now we can start on the next part, which is its brain. <laughs> working on its brain next uh, put that up there. so there's a lot of fiddly little bits in this here so um this might be a little bit trickier alright so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check it make I'm gonna go through and make sure everything's here um, and then we can start on the next part. Alright, thanks, bye.